Jim Mora Jr. led UConn to a 36-33 to win over Liberty, who only had one loss on the season, and it was a one-point loss that they did not get a two-point conversion that would have won them the game at Wake Forest. Liberty just got done beating Arkansas, the same Arkansas that took number 7 LSU to a three-point game. They, they beat Arkansas last week in Fayetteville. And this is what you had happen. LSU, LSU, God bless. Liberty ran 20 more plays. They had 150 more yards of total offense. They had 14 more first downs. They had nearly a full yard per play more. They had a full yard per rush more in this game. Both teams had two turnovers. Uh, Liberty had more yards per pass. Um, <laughs> 82 Atlantic. Hugh Freeze just disqualified himself from the Auburn job after losing to UConn. I, I don't know about that. Uh, look, I will tell you this. All of these stats actually do line up for a Liberty win, right? And they just were not able to fully take advantage uh, in this spot. Yeah, you look at the drive charts. They had a field goal uh, inside the UConn 20. They had another field goal inside the UConn 20. Uh, turnover on downs, turnover on downs. They threw an interception in UConn territory. Uh, they fumbled the ball. They it, it was, you know, and in UConn, when they had their opportunities, you know, touchdown, 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 touchdown. And, of course, we'll go back over here, and you can see um, they were able to, they were able to take advantage. Like UConn was was really good and really really efficient in this game. Now, Liberty was down Day Day Hunter, the the dynamic running back, and then his backup. So both of their uh, their top two running backs were gone. They were down multiple linebackers. They had one that was ejected for a targeting call kind of early. They had another one that went out injured. They were already down two of them, so you're down your top four linebackers as well. It's still no excuse for what happened here, but we're not going to make it about Liberty. Liberty has had some really good moments this year. We know that they've got a fantastic coach, etc. UConn, on the other hand, what they were able to do, Turner, 15 out of 21 passing, 103 yards, one touchdown, one pick. They ran the ball 38 times for 208 yards with three touchdowns. Five and a half yards per carry on this. Uh, Burns ran 11 times for 104 yards. His long was 58, so he averaged out to almost 10 yards per carry. This was fun to watch. This was just fun. Um, Liberty's two turnovers turned into uh, 14 points, I believe, for UConn, and it was only seven the other way around, if I'm not mistaken. This is fun to see. UConn was a disaster. And a lot of people thought that the Jim Mora Jr. hire was a disaster. And they've had injury after injury after injury this year. And he's found a way to build that team together. And to pull them together. And they have found a way to get to a, well, at least to bowl eligibility. And as it sits right now, I think if you go look at the standings, look at the actual records, there's not enough bowl teams this year. So there's going to be a lot of five and sevens, which means... UConn being at 6-6 six and six means that they are going to get into a bowl game. And this is awesome. This team is efficient. They take advantage of every opportunity that is thrown their way. And Liberty gave them a lot of opportunities. Gave them a lot of opportunities. This was, this was a fun game. I did have this game on in the background. Um, now, the question, of course, comes in, like, is Jim Moore Jr. going to end up taking another job? I don't know. He seems to like it up there. Like, I... Why would you go somewhere else when you have built this thing from the ground up now? Like, this is this is awesome. And so I am uh, not surprised that UConn was able to get the win. Uh, maybe more just the way that it happened, I guess. Uh, you knew that this was a letdown spot for Liberty, and UConn being at home, they have just they've been able to cover, et cetera. UConn scored 15 points in the fourth quarter here. Cheers to the Huskies for getting it done. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. 
Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.